In this example, we want to find the volume of the solid revolution obtained by revolving the region between the graphs of x equals 9 minus y squared, x equals 5, around the line y equals 8 using the shell method. So let's first have a picture here for what this region looks like. x equals 9 minus y, so it's going to be a parabola, and the parabola is going to face to the left. So how do we know that? Well, if we look at x equals 0, I'm setting this to be zero here, then y is gonna be plus or minus three. And the vertex point out here is when y equals zero or when x equals nine. So this parabola is gonna loop around like this, go out this way, where this point here is at the point x is nine and y is zero. x equals five is a vertical line cutting through here. And when x is five, plugging in five up here, we get five equals nine minus y squared, or y squared equals four, so y is plus or minus two. So this point here is at five, two, and this here is at five minus two. And we're gonna revolve around y equals eight, which is way up here somewhere. Now to do so using shells, I wanna use segments that are parallel to the axis of rotation. So I'm gonna use segments this way, and rotating those around that axis will give me cylindrical shells. So the shell method when we do the integral is always the integral over that certain range, and we need the radius of the shell and the height of the shell. Based on our orientation here and the rotation axis, we know there's gonna be integrals in y, because that's the way our slicing is set up. So our volume by the shell method will be two pi, the integral over the range of y values, so minus two to two, of the radius as a function of y times the height as a function of y. Now what are those two things? Well the radius is going to be the distance from whatever y value we're at to the axis of rotation. So the radius will be the distance here. So the radius is just 8 minus y. If y is at 2 at the top, the radius is only 6. If y goes down to minus 2, the radius goes to 10. There's our radius. Our height is going to be the length between these two curves. So it's going to be the right curve, which is 9 minus y squared, minus the left curve, which is 5. Let me write these in color so you see what they look like. 9 minus y squared is the green curve, and then minus the 5 that is the purple curve, which are the positions. So now we can set up our integral. 2 pi integral minus 2 to 2, radius was 8 minus y, height was, let me find that out, 4 minus y squared. We can expand, we can now integrate, and plug in minus 2 and 2, which will give us the following. Plug in 2, subtract 2 pi times plugging in minus 2, and we'll see that these terms and these terms will cancel. This is a 64 over three, as is this one. And I'm gonna see as a result, two pi, first will give me a 128 over three, that's two times 64. And then minus a two pi times a negative 128 over three, resulting in 256 pi over three as my volume. That's how you'd work out and solve for the volume of this solid revolution using the shell method.